guys, I'm Terrence Fulham. Aubrey Hunt. We are certified fitness coaches. And also a fit couple and soulmates. And this week we're gonna talk about how to deal with unsupportive and judgmental family members on your fitness journey. Every time I come in the kitchen, you in the kitchen. In the goddamn refrigerator. Ooh, listen to it. So as you start your fitness journey, you'll run into a wide array of people. People who are supportive, people who are cheering you on, and then people who are not so supportive. I hate so much about the things that you choose to be. And I find that the most unsupportive people are usually the ones closest to us, right? So it's our friends, our significant others, parents, and siblings. A lot of times lack of support can come in many different forms. So I've had client, female clients in the past um, come to me and say how frustrated they are because they feel that their husbands are not being supportive of their journey. The woman would say, well, I, I told him I'm on this journey. He knows I'm working with you, but then he goes to the grocery store and he brings home Oreos and chips and my favorite ice cream. And like on Tuesday night, he ordered pizza. Ring pops, sour strolls, airheads extreme. Brother, we need another car. And by her husband doing this, this woman didn't feel supported because she had a clear conversation with her husband about her goals and how she struggled with them. And she's taking steps to better herself and you know meal prep and, and hire a trainer. And she felt that he was not intentionally doing this, but he was bringing them home and putting them in front of her. And on a fitness journey that's challenging where you have to sometimes cut out those junky foods, she felt like it was harder to resist temptation. Another example is just my, my own experience. I felt unsupported and judged by my own, my own family members at times because my journey is different than theirs. I've had family members say that my transformation is weird. I've had female family members tell me that they don't prefer my physique on a woman. I've had times where I've, I've told family members about my goals to compete and the first words were, are you gonna look like a man? So I think family members, that they're always coming from a good place, but a lot of times negative talk and judgmental comments that can really get to people, it's not about you. It's coming from a place of a self-limiting belief mindset. So understand where self-limiting beliefs come from. The fitness journey is a very difficult one and it is a very transformative process. And when people see you making these body and life changes for yourself, a lot of times they can project their own inadequacies on you. Hey, Mia, you better hide your baby, all. I'm just playing. <laughs> you better hide that big-ass forehead. <laughs> I was just joking. So if they see that you've lost 20, 30 pounds, that you look bigger, more muscular, or filling out your shirt, a lot of times that triggers within them their own insecurities about what they have not accomplished. So what does that look like? You may hear little comments like, oh, so is all you do work out now? Or, so you're really not going to eat with us? I cooked all this food. Is that all you going to eat? Hey, 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 hey. What's wrong with you? You supposed to eat that thing, not scalp it. But all that is, is again, them projecting their insecurities onto you. So what you can do with that is set clear boundaries. I've been at family parties, family barbecues, friends parties. They're like, oh, you can't, you can't just have like one light beer. Like it's just, it's light beer, right? It's like 99 cal. Like, no, <laughs> I cannot. So you do want alcohol? Or you want some sort of alcohol or no? You do or you don't? You do want alcohol. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Either way. Well. Either way. Either way is fine. I don't need them to understand it. I just need them to not be assholes <laughs> and, support, and support you right? and support me like you're trying to be a world champion damn like that's awesome like what you eating in your tupperware <laughs> like, <laughs> what cut of brown turkey is that 99 and, and yeah <laughs> like just be supportive be kind and you have to it's your job to set those boundaries because you cannot control other people or or the shit that they're going to say or how they think about you or how they view you you can only control yourself. And so many people suffer from fear. I was one of them for 25 and a half years of my life. I lived in fear of what the people closest to me thought about me. And it killed me because there were so many things that I wanted to do deep in my soul that I didn't because I was afraid, well, what will they think of me? And so part of my growth, especially with competing, that was like that first step of real growth for me was like, you know what, I'm gonna do this for myself only myself because this is what I want and regardless of if people support me or not I'm still gonna do it because this is for me so what are the takeaway points from this video number one people are going to judge you regardless if you do or if you do not say right now you don't like how you look and people make snide remarks about your body and then you make a change for yourself those remarks are going to change into remarks about your new body understand that you cannot 
make your decisions about what you're doing with your life based off of other people's opinions because people will always have opinions. Which segues into point number two, living in fear of other people's opinions will kill you. Do not make your decisions based off of the fear of what other people are going to say. If there's something that is in your heart to get started on, start on it. Again, people will hate regardless. and You cannot worry about that hate. You can only worry about what you want, what you truly desire, and pursuing those things. And then the final point is your happiness first. Sounds generic, but it's so undervalued by us in society. Your happiness comes first. You are only in control of what you do, what you bring to the table, and what you experience. So your happiness should be the priority. Everyone else's comes second. And people may call you selfish for that, but... Be selfish. Be selfish, because if you're not pouring into you and giving you the best that you got, it's impossible for you to do that for other people. You have to fill your cup first. So do what makes you happy and follow your heart always. Always. Thanks for tuning in guys. And if, if any of you feel like you can relate to this video or if you've gone through something similar and you want to talk about it or you need tips on how to approach a certain family member or a friend or anyone, or you just want to talk, um, you guys can always reach out to us because we've, we've been through a lot. So we can definitely <laughs> guide you in, the, um, in a positive, healthy, direction so next week's video we will be discussing what to expect when starting your fitness journey if you're someone who started and stopped your fitness journey a hundred times this video is for you if you want a way to contact us directly or just follow our fitness journeys i'm going to post our instagram handles below thanks again and we'll see you next week